Welcome back to In the Zone. Vincent's Lincoln QB Brant Nowowski said it best about the Alice's rivalry with Jasper. He said everyone in each city hates each other. He isn't kidding. I've seen this rivalry up close several times, but never like tonight's showdown with both teams entering 4-0 in the season. Of course, Vincent's Nation knows my feelings about this rivalry. Alice is down six. Brant Nowowski runs for 44 yards in the Wildcat territory. That was up a fourth and two. He would throw a jump pass to Connor Barmas. Barmas takes it 25 yards for the TD catch and run. 7-6, good guys. Jasper retakes the lead at 14-7, but then Nowowski hands off to Taiwan Hawkins. That guy's a stud. He goes around the left side for a nice game, and that sets up this. First play, second quarter, Nowowski to Graham Tool on the quick slant into the end zone for the TD. 14-14, Nowowski was a man tonight. 234 total yards, three scores. As Dickie B would say, upset city, baby. And this is the good kind of upsets. There are wins, and then there is beating Jasper, right, Vincennes Lincoln? You know I love this one. Alice's win, 35-34 in OT, thanks to Taiwan Hawkins. He blocked Jasper's extra point in the OT and then scored the winning TD. Congratulations to Vincennes. Megan. Now over in Illinois, it's no secret KZ Westfield is the team of the Little Illini. Since joining the conference three years ago, Robinson has made a name for themselves, but the Maroons would be the first to tell you they've been dominated by the Warriors. Robinson was hoping to make a statement tonight. Both the Maroons and Warriors entered this Look game 3-0. Oh, hey, Myers Leonard, the former basketball star in attendance. Here's Casey's Isaac Elkins getting sacked like a bag of potatoes by Maroon's Wes Harrison, but it was a great defensive read. Robinson ball, QB Bucky Stevens with the throw, but Casey's Trey Thompson gets the interception, which he's going to turn into a pick six. I like seeing those, a lot of those tonight. And here's Casey's Elkins. Now, Rick, this could be a Sports Center top 10 play. Look at that Whoa. catch by Evan Blankenship. Heck was wow. Sports Center. Rick Rallies play. Rick's rallies, absolutely. And the Warriors had 322 yards of total offense to go along with their 35 14 win. Paris was at home tonight entertaining Edwards County. And now these plays are my some of my favorite plays in football. So here's Paris's Brady Sutton putting the wheels on. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodging everything and everyone in sight. And he would get the touchdown. Do. I did on the kickoff return. And hey, you know, when you're in that situation after a great play, why not go for two? Here's Paris's QB Salem Isa with the throw into the end zone, and they're gonna get the two-point conversion on that, and that'll make it 14-0 Paris. Paris bets at best Edwards, 42-32. Time now for our Sports 10 Spirit Award. Check this out, Megan. I was here, Terre Haute North with the baby powder there. Looking like LeBron James. <laughs> I love their fans for the wideout. Terre Haute South, the X Factor, they've been great this season. Making a trip over to Paris and the Tiger fans, loud as always, and the North Central T-Bird fans enjoying the Sports 10 camera. Up next, our Sports 10 smashes of the night. Robinson, Malik Miller laying some lumber. Owen Valley's Landon D. Ford. Ooh. A big hit there on Tucker Stewart, but Stewart gets the win. Sullivan's Matthew Center throwing. The running back down to the ground. That's how you take a player down. Time now for the Sports 10 Top 5 Fantasy Stars of tonight. And I can tell you folks, we debated this for quite a while. We had about, what, 12, 14 players maybe Absolutely. that could have made easily, it tonight? Easily, easily, a we'll, lot. We'll start with Jordan Muir for North Knox. This guy came in 14th in the nation in rushing. What's he do? 226 yards, three TDs. Brant Nowowski, he had three TDs, more than 200 total yards. Brant, I salute you for beating Jasper. Congratulations. Ben Cunningham, he had four TDs, 130 yards rushing, and he only played a half for Rockville tonight. Congratulations to Ben. He's been doing the job for years. Timmy Heron, what can you say? He had the late fumble. That cost his team to go to overtime. He makes up for it with the game-winning touchdown and two-point conversion. Five TDs in the game. The guy is incredible, and Jacob Earl didn't play much tonight. He had five TDs as well. Congratulations to Terre Haute South. 5-0 for the first time since 1973. First winning season since 1999. Can the Braves keep it going? We'll let you know in the weeks to come. That does it for In the Zone. Have a great weekend.